Assalamualaikum and good day. I am Siti Nur Najiha Lufi, year for medical student of National Defence University of Malaysia. On behalf of Prof. Mainul Haq and his team of National Defence University of Malaysia, we are conducting a study of investigating practice among university students at the Malaysian National Defence University on self-medication of antibiotics. Some medication of drugs to elevate symptoms is a common global behavior, helping with burdens on health services. But many drugs, example antibiotics, are prescription only. Some medication of antibiotics is an irrational use of drugs, contributing to microbial resistance, increasing healthcare costs, and higher mortality and morbidity. This study aimed to assess some medication antibiotics among university students. The method is, this was a cross-sectional study conducted among medical and non-medical students of the National Defense University of Malaysia. A validated instrument was used to get the data. Ethics approval was obtained. Random and universal sampling was adopted and SPSS21 was used for data analysis. As for the result, 649 students participated in the study, 48.5 male and 51.5% female. Out of it, 39.3% were found to self-medicate with antibiotics. Penicillin, doxycycline, claritomycin were the antibiotics most used with the majority reporting no adverse drug reactions. Cost savings and convenience were the principal reasons for self-medication antibiotics which were mainly obtained from local retail pharmacies. Despite medical students, particularly the more senior, having better knowledge of antibiotic use than non-medical students, 89% of all research participants responded that practicing self-medication antibiotic was good or acceptable practice. As for the conclusion, self-medication antibiotic is a common amongst Malaysian students and despite understanding why self-medication antibiotic is unwise, even medical students self-medicate. Thank you.